the day before he suffered. And looking, he took bread into his sacred hands and looking up to heaven, to you, his almighty Father, he gave you thanks and prayers. He broke the bread, gave it to his disciples and said, take this, all of you, and eat it. This is my body, which will be given up for you. When supper was ended, he took the cup. Again, he gave you thanks and praise. Gave the cup to his disciples and said, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. This is the cup of my blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant. It will be shed for you and for all, so that sins may be forgiven. Do this in memory of me. Let us proclaim the mystery of faith. Christ has died. Christ is risen. Christ will come again. Father, we celebrate the memory of Christ, your Son. We, your people and your ministers, recall his passion, his resurrection from the dead, and his ascension into glory. And from the many gifts you have given us, we offer you, God of glory and majesty, this holy and perfect sacrifice, the bread of life and the cup of eternal salvation. Look with favor on these offerings and accept them as you once accepted the gifts of your servant Abel, the sacrifice of Abraham, our father in faith, and the bread and wine offered by your priest Melchizedek. Almighty God, we pray that your angel may take this sacrifice to your altar in heaven. Then as we receive from this altar the sacred body and blood of your Son, let us be filled with every grace and blessing. Remember, Lord, those who have died and gone before us marked with a sign of faith, especially those for whom we now pray. May these and all who sleep in Christ find in your presence light, happiness, and peace. For ourselves, too, we ask them a fellowship with your apostles and martyrs, with John the Baptist, Stephen, Matthias, Barnabas, St. Basil, and all your saints. Though we are sinners, we trust in your mercy and love. Do not consider what we truly deserve, but grant us your forgiveness through Christ our Lord. You give us all these gifts. You fill them with life and goodness. You bless them and make them holy. For it is through him, with him, in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever. Amen. We pray as Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil, and grant us peace in our day. In your mercy, keep us free from sin and protect us from all anxiety as we wait in joyful hope for the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your friends, I leave you peace, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and grant us the peace and the unity of your kingdom where you live forever and ever. And may that peace of our Lord Jesus be with you always. And let's extend a silent peace we share with Jesus with one another.
This is the Lamb of God, the one who comes to take away the sins of the world. His body has been broken for us, his blood poured out for us. Happy are we who are called to this sacred meal. Lord, I'm not worthy to receive you, but only say the word and I shall be healed. May the body and blood of Jesus Christ bring us all to everlasting life. Would those of you at home join with me now in this prayer to the Holy Spirit? Descend, Holy Spirit of life. Come down into our hearts that we may live. Descend into our emptiness, that emptiness may be filled. Descend into the dust, that dust may flower. Descend into the dark, that the light may shine in darkness. Amen. As pastor of St. Basil's, I really want to say that I'm very pleased how well these daily televised masses are going. The level of competency the musicians, the organists, the singers, the lectors, the servers have really responded generously and really the liturgies here are, are very beautiful and for that I'm very grateful to God. And I know that this ministry is so important across this land. I know that there are many shut-ins who look forward to this daily Mass and wouldn't miss it. And so for us it's a privilege to serve in this way but we also know that the reign of God is unfolding in our midst, and for that we give praise and thanks to God. The Lord is with you. Let us pray. All powerful God, you renew us with your sacraments. Help us to thank you with lives of faithful service. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Let us go now in joy and peace, continuing to love and serve the Lord. Our thanks to Teresa and Loretto from Mississauga, Ontario, whose generous contribution made the televising of today's Mass possible. Please remember that all requests for special prayers are read by Monsignor Bianco, Father Bush, Father Coots, Father Donovan, and Father Fitzpatrick and your intentions are carried with them to the altar for the celebration of Holy Mass. So